We've built a house. This fragile home we've called democracy is not fixed and set in stone. Eight out of 10 journalists in the Netherlands have experienced some form of aggression or threat. Autocrats target independent media because information empowers us. There is a growing trend of smear campaigns. People have a lot of questions about whether news is worth saving. Fake news, disinformation, we're swimming in this. My father was a journalist. He has been assassinated when I was 10 years old. Last year was the deadliest year regarding journalists. The deadliest year, yes. Is the public in their right to be distrustful when information leaks but accountability isn't taken? We need to have countries and cultures that understand each other. Stay critical of tech platforms because they have a lot of power. The big question here is accountability. Journalists are a key part of any free society. If journalists cannot do their work, democracy itself cannot do its work. I might not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Do you think we as journalists should fight back against powerful people who make it difficult for us to do our jobs? The short answer is yes. <laughs> We have this cooperation platform called Persveilig to make sure that whatever happens to journalists is addressed right away. We managed to adopt new media legislation which re-established and broadened the protection of journalist sources. We have to start raising awareness, education with young generation. You must listen to young people because young people have another perspective at the world. Let's hear it for our budding journalists. We will research the possibilities of a standing international investigative team. Finding ways to join forces, pull funds, do better with little we have. We develop new tools to get the news into countries that are, that are shut down. The Media Freedom Coalition. We develop embassy networks in countries where media freedom is under pressure. Please talk with the media rather than about the media. It's up to us to ensure that journalists can do their job safeguarding our democracy in freedom and safety.